Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy crispy carnita quesa tacos. And today I'm going to be using our super easy carnita recipe that is made in an instant pot. I've already defrosted my carnitas and now we're ready to start our quesa tacos. Place your burner on a medium high heat and allow it to heat up for about two to three minutes. If you have a cast iron, even better for this next step. I see smoke coming out of my pan and now it's time to add our carnitas. I'm not gonna add any extra oil because you see the fat? We can see it. That's gonna sear and crisp up our carnitas exactly how we need them. I really do love carnitas for family gatherings, not because I don't wanna give you the best quality of what's out there, Cloud. What I'm saying is it's more affordable for families if you make a big pot of carnitas. And you don't have to worry about me, I'll take them right, just like that. <laughs> just like that, perfect. And friends, obviously, this is not a copper pot. These are not traditional carnitas, but ooh, boy, do they taste good. <laughs> and if you don't have an instant pot, not to worry, Cloud made this. Cloud, you made them, okay? We made the recipe for you in a uh, slow cooker. So we'll leave those recipes down below. I'm gonna continue to crisp up our carnitas for another six to eight minutes. For this part, you wanna cook with your eyes, okay? Don't think about, it's not gonna be juicy and tender. This is a meal prep. Your whole family's gonna love it, but you need to crisp it up as much as you want, okay? Make it comfortable for your home. See, this one already needs a flip. Ooh, you see this crisp? Yummy. So just move it around, get as many crispy little parts as you want. Well, you don't need to show off and tell us something about how you crisp these up. <laughs> Cast iron, friends, at a good heat. Woo! I don't know, I get happy with carnitas. I start thinking about all the delicious carnitas I've had. <laughs> Shout out to all our friends in Texas. We miss and love you. <laughs> yes, we do. Amigos, I have access to very flimsy tortillas that every time I fry them, they're falling apart. So to avoid that from happening, I'm gonna cook them for a little bit, about eight to 10 seconds, give or take. And then I'm just gonna set them to the side and then I'm gonna fill them up. With <clears throat> this, it's distracting me. With this and, and some, some quesito. We found and Lachona and got there. excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not my stomach, that's the floor. Don't even look at me like that. I want them to. <laughs> You guys, we do live in a very old house. Not a mansion, a very old house. Who's we? You live here. I live in a very old house. Well, Before they start spreading rumors. Well, I'm trying to get you to live with me, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen in my Nicole life. Nicole and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I move to Poteet, Texas. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I always try to show you guys the tortillas that I'm using, and these are the ones I'm using. I like them, they taste good, but I'm having a difficult time with them. That song comes to mind when you see that. <laughs> yeah, empezaste. Yeah, if you ever want Mexicans to come out, just play that song really loud anywhere you're at. Like any chance any you get, country, right? Any country, anywhere, just play. <laughs> Do you see how the tortilla is a little bit more dry? Mm -hmm. There's not so much moisture. That's gonna help us get a crispy taquito. I'm definitely gonna eat three today. Yo también voy a hartar. Then I'm gonna walk home. <laughs> Are you gonna get on your little scooter? Halfway through, I definitely need to walk it off. I'm also gonna be searing uh, the chiles, hueritos with some cheese, and I put a little bit of salsa verde in there. All I did was slice it in a little triangle. I removed the seeds with a spoon, and then I add the cheese and a little bit of salsa. And that way it stays a little bit more sealed. And this one I broke off so that that way you guys can get a better look. Nice. And these, when you order them at a restaurant or a food truck, are called? Uh, chile tronado or chilitos con queso. It depends on who you're talking to and what state you're in, okay? You're all right. You're you all are all right. You are all <laughs> correct. In the same pan that you cooked your carnitas and you toasted your tortillas, you're gonna drizzle some oil to cover the bottom of your pan. All right, we're gonna go ahead and place our taquitos, just like this. Uh -huh. And depending on the tortillas that you're using, uh, it's gonna take you anywhere from two to three minutes, okay? Ooh, and did our cheese just melt on this one all beautifully? Ooh, perfect, Ooh, perfect for what we're gonna do. This is what you're gonna do next, ready? 
You're going to add as much of your carnitas as you want in there. You close it, and you're going to set it to the side. I mean, boom, done. What else do you need? Mm, a little bit of salsa. Well, we're not there yet. Hold oh. on a second, guys. Okay, well, you <laughs> ask me, and I'm going to say it. You know, I just love being in the kitchen with you. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love being in the kitchen with you, friends. I suggest you don't use your fingers, use your little tongs. And I don't mean your tongue to tongue tongue tongue. Um, when you're doing this, this is just because I flip that many tortillas and tacos and from experience, I use them. The steam is hotter than anything, to be quite honest. There you go. Now I'm gonna continue with the remaining tacos. So you're gonna have three. My head. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And boom, done, amigos. We're ready to serve. And yes, we did trigger our smoke alarm with these cheetahs. And boom done, amigos, who's ready for a bite. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh, Buen provecho. I'm already looking at it, it looks so pretty that I don't even wanna bite into it. Spoiler alert, they're delicious. They are so good. <laughs> I had half of one, <laughs> but now I'm ready to indulge. I can't even talk, they're so good. How's that chili? Not spicy yet. <laughs> Not yet. They're hit or miss. Sometimes they're gonna be really spicy, and some they're gonna be manageable. Yeah, halfway through the bite, you're gonna be in trouble. Halfway through the chili. You might be in trouble. Now you know who needs to do all the talking when I'm eating tacos. You. Oh, me? <laughs> well, they're so good. I, I really don't talk much when I eat tacos. I just go to town. I love watching you eat. Do we have um, a recipe on the channel for the green salsa? Yes, we do. We have fresh, cooked, roasted salsa. We have a variety, and I'm going to link that in the description area. Came out so good today. Mm. And boom, done. Es que están super fácil y no están muy grasosos mm -hmm. you know what i mean and friends i know a lot of you guys are selective eaters out there but this is a taco that you don't want to skip on if you love carnitas and you love your quesa tacos this is perfect and i think that the tortillas although i was complaining they turned out great for this particular recipe keeping everything very light so don't eat rice or beans with this particular recipe so you can have more tacos just have your agua fresh or just water mm-hmm <laughs> Mm, so good. I'm always about rotisserie chicken, but I'm definitely about making your carnitas in an instant pot and then forgetting it for a month or so, thawing it out, and then making some quick recipes. It works out perfect. And you surprise yourself every time. I do, but I'm really excited about these tacos. Mm. Look away. I knew I was going to be kicked out. Uh-huh. No <laughs> Always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And if you're interested, I'm going to add a playlist over here. And that's going to allow you to click on it and get about two to three hours of Cloud and I cooking some delicious recipes. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow.